Hi, the internet. Welcome to the What Else Show. I'm your host, Robert. This is Bethany. Hi, internet. And today we've got a review. We've got a review for... The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance on Netflix. It's yes. a 10 part. I believe it's 10 episodes. 10 episodes. Yes. About an hour, about 45 minutes long. Mm-hmm. So basically about a 10 hour, 10 hour movie mm-hmm. here. All right. Get into it. Bethany. Okay. What do you um, want to say about it? I loved it. Um, most of my notes end with AF because I was so blown away by it. Um, first of all, the story itself was great. Um, I think the fact that it was such a feat of puppetry and what they did with the Muppets and the grand scale of it all. Sure. A huge, huge feat. And it was beautiful to watch. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was very, very dark. I mean, the story itself is very dark. So if you watched the Dark Crystal movie, either as a child or you're a big fan. I'm a big fan of the original Dark Crystal yeah, movie. Yeah, this was much darker tonally. You think? I th- oh, yeah. I mean, I I felt like it was... I felt like it went places that the movie didn't really go. Like it, it was very, um, there was some very disturbing things that happened. I, I agree that this movie goes a little darker, but mm-hmm. I also agree the tone of uh, Age of Resistance is a little more childish than the original movie. Really? Tone, yes. Tone wise. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like some of the jokes and stuff. Oh, yeah. It yeah. played more to children. Maybe a younger audience, yeah. but. Um, I can't imagine young children watch like watching this. I watched the Dark even... Crystal when I was y- young. Yes, but I'm talking about the t- this this series because I feel like um, it's a little more because people talk about the Dark Crystal and they're like, oh, that movie was terrifying when I was little, and like, wow, if I was little, I would be terrified <laughs> of this TV series. The characters themselves, like the Skeksis and whatnot. Oh. are terrifying looking yes they yes. are and and with some of the characters they really really upped the ante and they really took it up a notch i felt like but even though they're terrifying looking they're never a threat or i mean they're mean but they're never like a force to be reckoned with you know what i'm saying oh i disagree yeah yeah, yeah i i would disagree with that assessment i i feel like I feel like they were pretty, pretty scary. Um, But I think that's why I really liked it because I felt like what happened in the Dark Crystal movie, like maybe they weren't quite as scary, but then in in the series, I felt like they were able to really ratchet that up a little bit and just make it, just make things a little bit darker, a little bit more disturbing, a little bit more terrifying. (laughs) Um, but um, I think on the whole, though, I, I thought I thought it was great. I thought, I thought it was, was great. I thought it was good. I don't know if I'm disappointed with it because I didn't really have huge expectations for it. I'm a bigger fan of the original movie, probably because I saw it when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. You know, you have that like, left emotional that, connection to left it. Left that impression yeah, on me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, while I was watching this movie, TV series, series? Mm-hmm. 10 episode thing. <laughs> I couldn't help but think, oh, I like this. I like the way the puppets look, blah, blah, blah. This is, this is fantastic. This mm-hmm. is, they haven't made a, you know, a puppet movie on this scale since, you know, since the original. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't help but in the back of my mind think, this would probably be better animated. <laughs> Yeah, because maybe they could have gotten more more of the facial expressions. The facial expressions. Um, I feel like the action mm-hmm. would have been maybe better. Better. Served, I mean, mean, I'm not. I mean, if it was not good animation, like it wouldn't. Right. That none of that no, stuff would nothing have shown would up. save it. Yeah. Right. If, if the animation wasn't good. If it was yeah. good animation, I feel like it could have been better than what it is now. As great puppets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I I think it's great. I think it was um, a lot of more whimsical, kind of more whim- it, whimsy than the movie. It's a little high, more. It's whimsy. high fantasy. It is. It yeah. is. And it is, it is very very whimsical. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, the story is is fantasy through and through. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it was really fun to watch. 
And I was really excited about it because I couldn't wait to see what they were going to do with these characters that I knew from the movie. And um, I thought they did a great job making me feel an emotional attachment to those characters and also some new characters, sure. a ton of new characters that, right. that we got Most, to meet. Mostly new characters. Yeah, I yeah, mean, it was really, great. Really the only, re- it's a prequel, so really the only yeah. returning characters are uh, the Skeksis that we know. Yeah, and Agra. Agra, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was great. Um, there there was one, There's there's several parts in it that I just felt so um excited about and i felt like a real emotional connection to and i couldn't really decide who my favorite character was um but i i ended up with a favorite character by the end and i just felt like this particular character kind of embodied a lot of what i was actually thinking while i was watching um some of the scenes on the show and they the show is very meta right (laughs) it it has an idea of what it is and what it's trying to do Mm -hmm. and some of some of the things in there that are ridiculous about it right and it it points that out which i appreciate yes yes it's a it's it has kind of that self-awareness that really i i felt like that that sense of self-awareness made it more entertaining. Right. It's self-aware. It's yeah. self-aware to, to a, a plus. Point. Yeah. Instead of self-aware to a negative that sometimes I find. Right. 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 I think it only helps it be more entertaining. All right. So, it was so you obviously love this. I love so it. <laughs> who would you recommend it to? I loved it. I would recommend it to anybody. Um, really, if you're a fan of fantasy, um, I would highly recommend it. If you have never seen the movie Dark Crystal, you could probably watch this first and then watch the movie or watch the movie first and then watch this. I don't yeah, think it, it matters, think it matters what, what order. order. Um, yeah, it, it was great. I would recommend it to everybody, really. Everybody. And anybody. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. And if you kind of look at like who the voice actors are and you watch it, you can kind of hear like oh yeah the voice acting is is good so and so the voice acting was fantastic it's good it was (laughs) shut up it was off the scale you're wrong it was fantastic i loved it pretty good yeah i loved it it was great uh i'd also recommend it just to everybody i don't think there's this movie series has a (laughs) certain audience um if you don't like fantasy you're not gonna maybe maybe it's a little too dark for really young children but i feel like the sensibility is there for really young children Mm -hmm. i just you'd you'd have to decide on your own kid if they can they can handle it right um but it's there's enough in there for older people to enjoy Mm -hmm. and the puppetry is so good that even if you're not enjoying the story, you're enjoying how detailed the world looks and how yes. how the puppets are moving. It's I, beautiful. It's not like it's you beautiful. ever forget that they're puppets, but you're just like, wow, they did all this with puppets. Yeah, you know what I mean? It is, and it's amazing. And yeah, like that level of detail, and it's very immersive. Watching it is a very immersive experience. And I felt like I was watching a movie every single episode. Like an episode would end, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's right. This is a series. It's not a movie. Put on the next episode. All right. Now. <laughs> what's your What's your stars? I'm going to give it five out of five. Five out of five stars? Five out of five perfect stars. perfect score? Perfect score. It was wonderful. Loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. I just... I thought it was great. I'm going to give it four out of five. <gasps> How dare you? Because it's definitely not a five out of five. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to just it, disagree. <laughs> five out of five is like perfect and heading into perfect. So this is a four <laughs> out of five. It is definitely not perfect. There's some <clears throat> cheesy stuff in there. There's some little kid stuff in there. <laughs> uh, there's some plot holes and some ridiculousness with the plot. And there's there's also some bad puppetry in there. I saw some guy. Oh yeah, I saw some guy's face in there we, once. We caught a person. Well, <laughs> I, you I caught, caught the person, and then we rewound it and paused it. And we were like, oh, 
there's a person but yeah saying all that it is good and it there's yeah. nothing else like it yeah so. but i but even with all of that i felt like i couldn't let that drag down my score because i let it four I, out of five because i enjoyed it so much the the entertainment aspect of it for me outweighed any of the negatives for me so that's four out of five out. with a recommendation five out of five because she's crazy because with the and with a recommendation <laughs> And that's it. That's that's our review for Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. That is our review. Our yep. spoiler free review. Spoiler free. Uh if you want a review with spoilers in it, let us know in the comments. We'll think about it. <laughs> uh that's it, right? That's it. That's yeah, it. that's it. You could follow us on Twitter at what else show. You can send us an email at the Google on <laughs> at the email. You can send us an email. The what else show? The what at the what else show at gmail dot com. It's not at the what else show. <laughs> but you send your email to the, the what, what else show. Send your emails to the what else show at gmail dot com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or follow us on Instagram. <laughs> the what else show. All right. On Instagram. Okay. All right. Bye, Good internet. <laughs> Bye, internet.